Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed, and uh, we start a new uh, training and preparation for Elastic Certified Observability Engineer. This is the uh, second video. In the previous video, we did a, a summary or an overview about the different topics that we're going to cover in this uh, new training. Um, also, we prepared the environment, which is the installation of Elastic Search and Kibana. And in today's sorry, today video, we will do the uh, we will download Hertzbit and do the uh, installation uh, of it and see uh, how how it goes. So the first thing is um, we go to uh, to the official documentation and uh, you have to make sure that you change to the a dot a version. So to follow the documentation and to follow the steps and also uh, to download the um, uh, the version of uh, or the right version of uh, of Hertzbit. Why eight? Because we're following the doc the currently the the version of the exam is eight point eight. So I have explained this um, in the previous video. So here you choose uh, the you choose the your uh, OS or the, your uh, uh, operation system and you download the right package for your uh, operation system. Otherwise, you have the command. So here you choose eight um, if you are in Debian or uh, Red Hat, Linux, Windows, Mac OS. So you choose your version. So this is the first thing. The first thing. Me, I already download the uh, Hertzbit. I have it here and uh, right after the download so you have to before you start um, before you start test bits you have a few configuration to add so we have to make sure that we have a connection or a communication between hertz bit and uh, and uh, uh, elastic search and to do so we have to um, add the address to uh, elastic search uh, now it's HTTPS, so you have to make sure even you specify it here, or uh, we have another variable here where we specify the protocol, uh, the username and the password, and here uh, we have the fingerprint. Uh, the fingerprint, if you remember, in the previous video, when we do, when we do the uh, installation of Elasticsearch, we had this uh, password for the super user. We have the fingerprint for our uh, uh, CA certificate or certificate authority. And also we have a token to add Kibana and to add another uh, uh, Elasticsearch nodes. Um, yeah, so this this is configuration. So I, I did it here. So I will just go down. Uh, as you can see, so HTTP, uh, HTTPS, you can add it here or uh, you have you can mention it as a, as a protocol here or in another variable username, password, and this is the SSL verification, okay? If you did not specify one of those, it will generate an error, and uh, the um, uh, even it will said like the certificate is not trusted or you don't have right to uh, to write in Elasticsearch or, or access or whatever. So you have to make sure about these things. Another point is Kibana. Uh, if you if you follow the documentation, so it said skip this step if uh, Kibana is running on the same host as Elasticsearch. In our case, yes, or my case is yes. <coughs> Sorry, both Elasticsearch and Kibana, even Hertzbit are running on the same uh, operation uh, uh, on the same machine, which means we don't need. I don't need this one. If in your case or in production, you are you are deploying Kibana in a different server, so you have to add this uh, parameters or you have to uh, add this configuration here uh, in uh, in Hertzbit. After that, uh, we have two ways to configure the uh, the monitors. Uh, uh, first. Uh, we specify, or I have talked uh, briefly last, last time about uh, the different type of monitors. So we have ECMP. So this, it will send an ECMP request or check, or it will send a ping to your uh, server to see if it's up and running, if we have a response or no. The same with TCP, the same with uh, HTTP. And we will do all, uh, all of the three uh, cases because it's, um, uh, it's here in the topic. So you will definitely get a question about about one of those um we will see how we configure and how we use also up uptime kibana to uh, to verify right um so let's let's go back the quick start here so we did the download we did the configuration now to the to the monitors for the monitors we have two ways right um the first one is is here in the in the Hertzbit uh, or in the Hertzbit.yaml itself. So here you have, you can specify uh, the type of uh, the monitor, you give it a name, here it's enabled through the name or the type, you, you give it an ID and name, and here you 
you can put one or multiple URLs to send the check. If it is up and running or or it's down, down sorry. And here the schedule. Sometimes every 10 seconds, every 20, every five seconds. So it's depend on the criticality of your uh, website or uh, platform or whatever. So here you can specify uh, when or how often you want to send uh, to send the check. When we when you finish uh, or yeah, this is the first one. The second uh, way to do that we have monitor. So if you scroll up a little bit here up, so you see uh, that um, Heartbeat is get is getting the configuration of monitors from this path, which is slash monitors dot d slash all this YAMLs files. So it's disabled as you can see by default. But if you click, you see the difference here. For example, HTTP, uh, the type. Uh, this is the configuration and you find all the details here um, if you want you can use this one and you enable it you let mean you remove this disable and and here in the heartbeat you you change reload dot enable to true and like this instead of getting the monitors from here it will come here to monitor dot d and get the configuration from here both are the both uh, are the same but this is more um, let's say in production environments this is uh, more recommended this will be uh, more sophisticated and uh, um, like you separate the http from ecmp from tcp and you will have dedicated file for each type of monitor which help you for troubleshooting and um, like for, for for production environments right uh, once you finish, so here you find the explanation what was uh, saying about, and uh, and yeah, and after that, uh, when you install Hertzbit uh, by default uh, with with the agent itself or with uh, with the bit itself, you have a parsing which is uh, ingest pipelines. Uh, we have in the, we have uh, the, the configuration and the settings and the parameters of the index. We have dashboard and visualization. We have a lot of things like and how we upload from the agent or from the beats to Kibana. We have this command. So you, ta you copy the command and you, uh, mm. sorry. Yeah, so this is not, this is for Debian, for Mac OS is last, just, it's just dot, sorry, dot slash. And here we go. You, you can see that uh, Heartbeat successfully uh, uploaded the configurations. Uh, if you face any issue, just um, um, the details will be here. So uh, this, like the command, uh, heartbeat setup. If you remove minus e, you will not see all these logs. So it will be just like this. But it's 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 better since it's um, it will give you more details. So it's better to run it with minus e. Um, this is the first step. Uh, this will do. Uh, or this will uh, upload the configuration uh, into uh, into Kibana. Now, before you start, you have to change the owner of the uh, of the file. So it should be a root, and and the right after that you have to start uh, 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 here's a bit. So the command oh, well. oh, sorry, it's not a doer for me. I'm just still with the user. So this. Um, me, I skip this this step, so the user is enough for me. I I, need, I don't need to to change the owner to the root. Uh, right after that, um, you go to Kibana. So this is Kibana. So you go all the way to Stack Management, and you go to Data View here, and I have the hairs bit, but in your case, you have to click and create create heartbeat again okay um, I already I already did it that's why I, I have it here otherwise in your case you have to create it and when you go to discover you go to heartbeat and here we go we have the uh, the uh, logs are coming so if you open the document you will find the details um, um, the type of the monitor is here and this is the, the details that uh, we are getting. Okay, um, this is the uh, this is the first this is the first thing. Now, okay, 
Okay, so we uh, we did one with uh, with uh, we did with HTTP. It's the same with ECMP and with uh, with TCP. So if we go here to the documentation and we click on monitor, or let's go to configuration, and we go for example to to monitor. So here you have the ECMP, and here we have the TCP. Okay. So the ECMP, this is the type, this is the ID and name. This is the host, so you can specify the IP address of the host. And this is the schedule. This is, let's say, similar to cron. Like here, it will send it every five, like uh, schedule, you can say it like this or, or like this, like this, in, the, in a different format. Uh, the same with TCP. And uh, just you have to make sure that every time you modify the, uh, uh, the Hertzbeat or the YAML, the YAML file, to be able to get the, uh, the update here you have to um you have to restart the uh, the hairs bits to get the the uh, or to apply the updated or the the configuration that you uh, you 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 modified okay now this is uh, about uh, the uh, the installation and the configuration of the uh, uh hertz bits in the next video we will uh, see the uh, the uptime uh, here in uh, in kibana so it's here in observability, and if you go to uptime, you will be able to find it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the uh, comment section if you have uh, any question, and I hope to see you in the next video.